Hey everyone, Chris here from Roundtable Co-op, jumping into Miasma Chronicles for the very first time. This is developed by the Bearded Ladies that did Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden, which is a game that came out in 2018 and I absolutely loved. It's a really cool tactical turn-based strategy game and this looks to be the same in a different setting. And this is published by 5x5 Games. And thank you very much to Stride PR for the review key. Now Miasma Chronicles is about a beautifully crafted tactical adventure where you embark on a quest across a post-apocalyptic wasteland torn apart by a savage force known only as the Miasma. So it's set for release on May 23 this year and I'm playing on Steam at the moment and we're playing as a character called Elvis, a young man brought to the mining town of Sedentary as a baby left by his mother in the care of a robotic older brother and given a mysterious glove with which he can control the miasma. So we're going to join the brothers on a quest across a post-apocalyptic wasteland to find the answers which may change the course of human history forever. I'm going to jump into a new game. We'll get to choose from four difficulties, but narrative, standard, challenging, where the you recover 25% hit points post combat. Most enemies deal more damage, most enemies have more hit points. And then there's Alpha Editor. Manual save games are disabled. Oof. Unconscious heroes won't recover in combat and difficulty can't be changed. Wowzers. I'll go standard. So you've got light tactical or full tactical. So light tactical, hit chances for weapons are more predictable. Flanking enemies is always a guaranteed hit. Covers always grant the same bonuses regardless of distance. Or, full tactical, a less predictable experience with more tension. Chances to hit in combat are much less reliable, both for you and your enemies. Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's go full tactical. Somewhere in Kentucky, 140 years after the collapse of the Great Stability. Chronicle 1. tries is that 37 better get started on 38 uh, how you think 38 is gonna be different than 37 mama gave me this glove for a reason as long as she's on the other side of this wall yeah 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 we ain't quitting we'll find a little brother we'll find her Kicking up. 
Let's get back to town. Fix this glove. All right. So we're using WSAD and then the mouse to move around. Wow, how's the detail in the environment? That looks amazing. All right. So use R for the pulse number. Oh wow. Okay, there's something to loot here. Sweet. Nice. How about we take a look around? Some good loot in these parts. Okay. Diggs, look. That my asthma sure is angry. Swirling like a whirlpool. Beautiful. Don't go near it. Do we want to go near it? I don't think we do. Try. I guess. Nah, the glove's broken, surely. Investigate. The gloves. Buzzing. Like it wants me to reach out and... Elvis, you sneeze into that thing and it'll turn you inside out. Now let's go home. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, any other loot around here? I think we gotta go that way. Let's have a quick cheeky poo around here. Oh, there's some more. Yeah. And then this looks like maybe I can't go there yet. Investigate. Uh -huh. Barrier's still active. Okay. Can't get through here. Good call. Radio. My sprint? Yes, I can. Sweet. I'll down shift to sprint. Alright. And I reckon we go this way. Oh, there's something. What's this? I'm a petrified person. So I'm going to read that. A great stability. I humbly accept this esteemed peace prize, not for myself, but for the pioneering spirit of all Americans. We have righted the wrongs of our forefathers, healed the scars that divided us, put an end to hunger and war, a renaissance for humankind, a great stability. Now let us work together to share this American paradise with the whole world. Hmm. We've got heroes, so we got Elvis. So every day, Elvis tries to blast through the impenetrable miasma wall using the explosive power of mysterious magical gloves. His mother waits for him on the other side, or so he thinks. Ten years ago, she gave Elvis the magic glove and a cryptic challenge. Learn to master the glove, blast through the wall, and find me once again. There, I will tell you who they really are. Wow, ten years ago. Brave, young, inexperienced, Elvis won't stop until he blasts through the wall and unravels his past. But little does he know, his past will unravel him. And then digs... Elvis's big brother, trusted protector and partner in crime, with the strength of ten men and a heart bigger than the whole town. He's the only family Elvis has got, but he's a machine. A tough old excavated bot on his last legs. The night Elvis's mother disappeared and left her boy alone, she reprogrammed Diggs to help mould the boy into a man. For the last ten years, Diggs' style of mentoring has been questionable, leading Elvis through stupid risks, deadly firefights and daring adventures, having the time of his life all the way. Bold, daring, optimistic... Diggs is a robot overflowing with humanity, but in a town where machines are treated like machines, is there a place out there where he can feel at home? We have the Miasma Wall location, tutorials, and an archive. Beauty. Okay. Plastic. A voicemail. Can you play it? Jen, Jen, you're there? It's Tommy. Hope to hell you get this message in time. I got the kids. We're shaken up but doing okay. Annie's asking where mummy is. I'm telling her you're coming soon. And uh, Max is completely obsessed with his toys, so good call on those. Listen, don't come to the bridge. Police are blocking the roads because, well, there are no roads. Meet me back at your uncle's place. Kids are safe. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, just one more thing. I need you... 
Beep. Ah, uh, cool. So there's upper exploration as well as lower, which is kind of the same as um, meeting near zero, which is awesome. Yeah, I'm just doing a full loot clear here. I know there's an icon just there, but I want to have a have a look. Locked. Requires bank security pass. Okay. Gotta find Mama. Sick of being alone. Just want some family. What? You got your family right here. Me. Yeah, but Diggs, you're a. Oh what? Uh. <sighs> Kick-ass brother. Best brother I could ever have. Ha, <laughs> you know it. Alright, so we do have to go up. Okay, Small stuff over here. Must have been some meeting. Yikes. Oh, blue one over there. Let's get that if I can. Yes, sweet. So we got more lore here. What's this one? Peace forever. And then this thing is a bank security pass. A key card with the Bank of New America written in printed text. Safe house has been hand sketched onto the surface. Righto, let's finish looking up around here, then we'll go back down. I wonder if I can jump down there. We'll give it a try in a second. Oh, there's a roof. Let's go. Kind of don't want to finish. I hope I don't like. I hope this isn't like the destination because I want to check out that room. Maybe I should do that first. Perfect world. Yep. I do take I do like taking the time to look at those codex things because the developers put them in there to give us more information and props to them for the effort I reckon. All right, so so far my quest icon saying go over this. Oh wowzers! All right, I'm gonna go back down to that other building now. Let's see if we can drop down a floor. Oh, we can. Sweet. And then we need to drop down again. That wasn't the same stairs as before, was it? No, because we went through... No? Oh, yeah, through here. Oh, what's that little echo there? Hmm. Uh, oh, that's right. It was here. Now it's up. Sweet loot. Here I come. Oh, yeah. Right, let's pick this up. Fire's tech. Holding out. Uh, found a decent spot to hold up. Working security at the door. Nice view of the city. Should be safe from the collectors until I make a run for the scar. Then it's just a game of waiting for the rest of the editors. If they make it, only time will tell. Tree about this purple thing. What is this? Well, oh! Me sideways. Extends weapon range by 20%. Weapon mods can be attached to any weapon in the upgrade screen. A budget scope from Dormart's tactical home security range. Despite age and its exterior condition, it's still going strong and will give you a reasonable range boost when applied to a weapon. A faded promotional label reads, Great against the port pirates. Okay. You can attach weapon mods via the C party screen by selecting a weapon and then pressing modify. Okay. Oh, nice. The party screen shows the current status of the heroes in your party. Within this screen, you can equip and modify weapons, items, and miasma powers. You can also open each hero's skill deck. Later in the game, you'll be able to swap out party members. Right, so if we go here, and then we go... Oh, hang on. I saw there was something there. How do I go back? There. Uh, mod modifier. So... We have a range, buddy. Nice. We get plus 20 range. That's wicked. I didn't see any penalty to accuracy or, you know, things like that sometimes. 10% crit chance when flanking, righto. Okay, now we can go back up. Happy, happy now. 
I'm gonna loot sweep. I'm glad I went back. So we'll go all the way up now. And then quest marker is this way. But I don't believe it. What are those things? Uh, frogs. Frogs walking on two legs, murdering people. Those are not animals. Not people, neither. They're monsters. Goddamn monsters. What are they doing with. Wait. Hold on. That's the Vodder family. Please! Don't do it! No! No! Oh. We gotta deal with these assholes. We don't fight anything we don't understand. We're going home. Hey, you are aware the only way home is through them? Shit. Hey, get Tiger tough, little brother. We about to throw down. <laughs> oh, okay. Dicks, these things are freaking huge. Hey, you wanna get back to town? Pull that trigger. Tiger tough. Come on. All right, combat and action points. Combat is turn based. At the start of each turn, you get two action points per hero. All right, this is cool. I love this stuff. Okay, shoot. Space to shoot the enemy. Uh, e to go to the next target. Q to the previous target. I say we get rid of one. Point for Diggs, who's keeping score? You're a machine, Diggs. Oh. Shit, they're running for cover. Partial cover. Shoot them anyway. You might get lucky. Nah, luck never liked me that much. Okay, so shooting. Enemies in partial cover give you a minus 35% chance penalty to shoot them. Enemies in full cover give you a 75% chance penalty to shoot them. Wow. Covers are only effective from the front. Yes, good call. Alright, so that's 33% 30, chance to hit. Can I not do that? How do I change to my dude? Swap weapon? Oh, I may as well execute, why not? This is the tutorial. Yep. Okay. Ah, so now I've got a 41% chance to get him. Hit target. Oh, got him. Now what's he gonna do? Is he calling for backup? Oh, he's gonna try flank. Oh, over the top. Now he's behind full cover. Can't get a clean shot. Let's flank the bastard. Hit him from the side. Good call. Okay, move it. Move to the side or behind the enemy cover to flank them. Flanking an enemy gives you a 0% hit chance penalty. Sniper rifles have a hit chance at longer range, while assault rifles have a higher hit chance at shorter range. Hit chance and shotguns are unaffected by range. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going to rotate the camera, and then it's saying to move here. Ah, because he's right. And then, then what's he saying? Move to the selected tile. I did. Oh, unless I can shoot him, no. What did it say to do? Isn't this where it told me to do?
Ah, I'll just shoot him. Yeah, baby. You alive? Yeah, I think so. You? Rocking and rolling. We made these boys extinct. <laughs> uh oh. Look. Find some cover when the time's right. Flank them. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Use cover to avoid getting hit by enemy fire. Same rules apply for your squad as for the enemy. All right. Now, I assume that I'm, I'm not going to pick up stuff yet. I'm going to wait till the combat's over. So, if we go here, that's so cool. I love the percentage chance to hit that shows there. If we go here, oh, one make they picked it up. That's wicked. Now that's forty-two percent, thirty-six. So let's go there. Yeah, baby. And then this guy, I'm a bit worried about them flanking him. So maybe he will go here. I could go there and just see what they do. And then, oh yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go there, and then shoot this guy. Yes. Alright, now let's see what happens. I feel like he's going to go flank diggers. Yeah, he is. Damn it! Oh, fuel. Alright, so... If I go to here... It's 35%. If I go here, 63%. But then he's also got a pretty good chance to hit me as well. <laughs> if I go here, shoot him right in the mouth. What am I doing? No! Damn it! What an idiot! That was a rookie move. What an, what an idiot. <clears throat> Damn it. I could have got away with no frogs looking for their buddies. Oh god, what? We just killed their buddies. We gotta get back to town now. Alright, but I really want to check this room here. Oh. That's why. Okay, Medipod. Throw to heal or revive party members. A compact, throwable, single-use simultaneously scans and repairs physical damage at the atomic level. Standard technology provided by the first family to franchise settlements across the American wasteland. Can be thrown during combat, area of effect, or used outside of combat via the backpack screen. So I could use that, but... So if I go see, what's my health is... Oh, that's pretty bad. Backpack. Okay, this is your party's backpack. It's a shared inventory which shows everything the party is carrying. Whilst this is mostly used for informational purposes, you can use some consumables such as Medipods from within this screen. Okay, so consumable. So we got weapons, consumables, scopes. And in this one, heals 80. So I feel like I'm wasting it when I do that. Especially because it's AoE. Alright, so... Let's go check this out. Hate seeing the Vader family rotten out here. Damn frog monsters! Is this some sick joke? Watch your anger, Elvis. We should go. We gotta get these bodies back home. Yeah, we'll come back later. All right. So we're still gonna go to this sedentary. Okay. One final check. Nope, let's go. Yes. You don't know what's making the miasma angry, do you? To know what's making the miasma angry, you have to know what miasma is. What it really is. And you have no idea. At least you know how to fear it. That's good. You see it turn air into poison. Nature 
into nightmares, falls into monsters. You know you can't escape it. The miasma surrounds your town like an ocean surrounds a lonely island. And it's spreading across America, twisting this once great nation into a lethal wasteland. So don't leave. Stay safe and sedentary. A dull, colorless mining settlement you've lived in your whole life. Put your head down. Work hard. Provide the gold that feeds America's rulers, the first family. And pray the miasma's anger doesn't wipe your town off the map. No one here is brave enough to conquer their fear or create their destiny, except you, Elvis. With your big brother, Diggs, and years of hard work, you've harnessed your glove's power, and now you want to find me. But you still don't know what it really is, do you? I could tell you. But revelations must be earned. So a secret, it shall remain. Maybe in the future, you will be strong enough to break through the wall and find me. And if you do, maybe I will tell you my secret. But we both know you'll die along the way. Because between me and you, lies the miasma. Well, that's a cool backstory. Got to tell the mayor about those frog monsters. Sedentary. Yeah, I love the detail. We tell the mayor what we saw. The mayor? What's he gonna do against frog monsters? He can't hold a gun. Can't even run. He's been running this town for 80 years. He'll know what to do. Sedentary. Home sweet home. You saved my ass back there, big man. Ah, you got the magic, bro. All I got is strength, wisdom, charisma, good looks. I can do you one better than that. A fried bologna sandwich. <laughs> Georgia in a while. Maybe I should say hi. Okay. Look what the gator dragged in. I walk past your shop, Elvis. It looks like hammer shit. <laughs> All right, because this place is immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> Smells good, too. Don't try to get on my good side, Elvis. I no longer have one. Now, I know you want to find your mama, and no one's going to tell you different. But this town needs a good mechanic, especially with the first family up our asses. All right. So let's talk about Mayor. Mayor J. Mason. Make all the jokes you want, but that man refuses to die. When he lost his legs, he dragged his butt through a half mile tunnel. When he lost his arms, he fought tooth and nail to become mayor of this town. He must be over a hundred years old. Still sharp as a knife. He might live forever. Mm. Be careful of men who refuse to kick the bucket. They'll do anything it takes to hold on. Anything. Hey, collectors. Years ago, we used to trade with the first family face to face. Now they just send their robotic flunkies to squeeze us dry. Damn collectors. They take our gold, and in return, they give us just enough supplies to keep us digging. But where else are we gonna buy supplies? They got us bent over a log, all right. So we tell the first family to get lost. What's so hard about that? That's what Elizabethtown did. 
Where are they now? Underground. Buried in rubble. You know what vexes me? What does the first family do with all that gold? Okay, and then mama. You know, I really wanted your mama to come back. You miss her? Nah. I wore 50 plastic. She skipped town before I could pay her back. She's been gone so long, though. Might as well give it to you. Really? I don't know, Georgia. She's not coming back. I'm sorry. Take the money and bury the past. All right. You ruminate on what I told you. Cool. I love the characters so far. There's a lot of, a lot of style. The energy surrounds our town on all sides, but we shall not fear the miasma. We're gonna do a backflip on the miasma. Say up. How do we get up? Maybe in there? So what if I do drink too much moonshine and you ain't the judge of me? <laughs> Give it up, Elvis. No man's a devil. Hey, I just got that. Mine is a devil, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis and Diggs, what y'all been up to? Hey, try this moonshine. Daddy's recipe. Ugh, smells like motor oil. Bingo, it is oil. And some tree bark and, uh, a tire rubber. <laughs> I mean, you can make moonshine from just about anything, guys. Well, in a town of dwindling resources, improvisation is key. Just, uh, <laughs> don't tell the sheriff. Frog monsters. Oh, so you're telling me that outside of town right now there's just a bunch of monsters? Like, like real monsters? Yeah, they killed the Vodder family. I think they're coming for the town. Whew. I need a drink. It's moonshine o'clock somewhere, right? They're huge. Bulletproof, too. Maybe they got some kind of big boss alpha type monster. If we kill that boss... We might see the weaker ones back down. And, well, by we, I mean you. Every day this town loses something. Hell, I remember our last bottle of whiskey. Uh, I had a beer a few years back. <sighs> Don't even get me started on beer. God, I miss beer. <sighs> I even miss my wife. Sorry. I didn't know she died. Ah, uh, no, nah, she's alive. We just got divorced. Say. I'd never want to betray her confidence, but do you keep a secret? She stashed her valuables somewhere in the town. Hey, here we go. Ever 50 plastic, I can reveal to you where the stash is. You want to steal your wife's stuff? No, not me. You. You should steal it. If you leave her with nothing, she's going to come back to me. Look, man, you'd be doing me a real solid. Just give me 50 plastic, and I'll tell you the location of her treasure. How many have I got? Oh, I got 270. Sweet. Ah, good man. There's a gate behind the bar. Unlock it with this key and thank me later. Hell yeah, the sheriff. Damn law's been on my ass all week. Look, I didn't kill Clint Boom. Moonshine killed Clint Boom. All right? Hey, what do I got to do with it? I ain't worried. Sheriff Zebedee can barely walk now. What happened to him? My asthma infection in his knee got it tracking some thiever in the Badlands. <laughs> Sounds painful. Sounds pathetic. Now he's trying to recruit people to be his deputies. Keep on living, amigos. Okay, so behind the bar is a gate. There it is. And then the treasure. Lucky day. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? The stick of joy. This curiously contoured device was said to bring great happiness to lonely people who lived out their fantasies away from the outside world. That wasn't lonely, it was cool. As to where this was used exactly, records are uncertain. Perhaps you should use your imagination, unlike the previous owner. Alright, so was that it? Was that the treasure for 50 plastic? 
a stick. A stick of joy? Oh, I think I got ripped. Maybe I'll go back to him and have a, have a word. Oh, the digs get stuck. Come on, digs. shinies so it really only cost me 30 uh, 50 plastic so far oh we got ripped living, that's cool I just I like it anyway We get to the mayor. Your house looks like shit. <laughs> me. Your... You should clean this yard up. Attract some customers. Oh, so this is our shop. Right. Oh, what is this thing? I know a good cleaning robot. She'll get us a discount. Keep talking to me about cleaning and I'll hang you up there. Ooh. To Elvis, this is important. Tonight is the night, Elvis. I must go. I must leave Sedentary. Diggs will take care of you until you're able to take care of yourself. With his help and years of hard work, you will learn to harness the gloves' power, and when you do, come find me beyond the miasma wall. There, I will tell you who you really are and who you must become. Promise me as I have promised you. Your mother, Bar Marty. Damn, heroes. Jade. Who's Jade? Mysterious gun for Hyasu slips into Elvis's life, offering him a crucial deal. She'll keep him alive long enough to blast through the miasma wall if he'll lead her to the legendary warrior witch Bar Marty. Isn't that your mum? Why? She wants revenge against an all-powerful enemy, the high-tech tyrants known as the First Family. Jade escaped their clutches, abused and battered, now vowing to destroy the family at all costs. She seeks the help of the hero who almost toppled them, Elvis' mother. Skilled, sharp-tongued, wise for hundred years, Jade survives on her own by never letting anyone in, but as she grows closer to Elvis, lets down her guard and spills her secrets, will the truth turn an ally into an enemy? Interesting. Treasure, oh that's cool, tutorials. Yep, that's all good. Okay. Mama's picture. What do you remember about her? Not a lot. Didn't get much quality time with her. I keep dreaming about the night she left. Her giving me this glove. Why the hell did she put this responsibility on me? I don't know. When we find her, we can ask her. Yeah. Oh. Upgrade. Oh no, it's not. It's a medipod, sorry. My bad. Now, is there a map? Oh, there is a map. Sweet. Now, I don't know how to get to this quest. In here? No. I don't care how many elections Mayor Mason steals, he'll always get my way. Oh, I can just walk straight in, that's what you can do, you idiot. Okay, let's talk to the old man. Oh, wow. He really did lose his Elvis, legs and arms. The boy with the magic glove. Mayor, listen, this is gonna sound crazy, but we saw monsters. Real monsters. What's with the hunched shoulders and sour puss, boy? I keep telling you, if you don't project power, someone's gonna take it from you. You heard what he said, old man. Monsters, right outside town. I'm talking to the smart one. Okay, <laughs> Diggs, calm down. Oh, what's going on here? Trash can. What's he yakking about, monsters? That's what they were. Big, nasty frog things. They killed the Vodder fam. Damn near killed us, too. Loads of them are coming for the town. You gotta do something. Mm. 
I knew this day was coming. What you mean you knew? It was the last full moon. The mayor of Pikeville was screaming at me on the radio about some invasion. I sent the sheriff out there for a look-see. He said the townspeople were gone, and the streets were covered with giant sacks of eggs. Frog eggs. We can't let that happen here. You can get the town to fight. This is a mining town. We mine. No, the miasma's changing. Behaving differently. It's more important than ever. You get through that wall and find your mama, Bamati. She's the only one who might know what's going on. Like it or not, Elvis, the fate of our town is in your fingers. Yeah, about my fingers. The glove's dead. I blew out the power core. Well, go find a new power core and come back here pronto. I'll take another look at your mama's data drive. See if she left any clues on how to keep that glove from breaking. And one more thing. Do not leave town. It's too dangerous out there. Okay, we've got experience. While the mayor digs, around, digs through Mama's data drive for clues, we need to get the glove fixed. Bertha Jr. probably has a working power core. Oh yeah! Okay, the party is just going to level. As the party levels up, all party members gain 5 health as well as 1 skill point to be used in their specific skill decks. Each hero's skill deck is found in the party screen. So, In the skill deck, you can exchange points for new active and passive tactical skills. Later, skills will become available when the previous skill in its respective branch has been unlocked. Skill points can be refunded, so you can easily reconfigure your hero's skill decks at any time outside of combat. That's great. All skills are available in combat and active skills have cooldowns that last for a number of turns before they can be used again. Alright, so... We can do hit points. Uh, armor Eater Shot, which removes up to two armor points from the target, which could be useful too. Take automatic reaction shots within a selected area. Tactical implant, which allows its user to guard a specific area. Any enemies moving through the Overwatch cone will be targeted instantly. For something truly special, try this with a crowd of enemies whilst using a weapon holding multiple rounds of ammo. Oh, that's so good. Now, it seems like we have one of these already. I don't know. Or, or is that... The, the, that's the first... Oh, that's the first tier, right. Oh, jeez. What do we get? Um, I think armor points. Overwatch is pretty good too, though. Um, watch. That's for Elvis, and then for Digger, you can have health. Uh, Big Bro, you can be used, used as high cover by allies. Oh wow. Uh, sprint and shoot. Tactical implant which gives the user increased mobility in short bursts. Allows a bonus action after sprinting. I think so too. That sounds good. And then did that heal me up? Oh man, that's so cool. I'm glad I didn't waste that. Um, what is it? Medpod was it? Medipod, yep. Alright, that's so good. This is awesome so far. Love the world and environments. Love the banter between the characters. Voice acting is superb. Game runs relatively smooth. I'm only getting 60 frames per second, but it feels smooth. Oh, oh, that's how you change characters. This is mouse four. That's cool. Welcome to the Rizzo Bertha's General Store. I'm Bertha Jr. Elvis? Oh, hell no. Get out. Bertha, please. All we need is one fresh power core. You blew up my car. Last damn car in town. You know how expensive that thing was? I do, and I'm sorry. My glove misfired, and... Uh, listen, we're on official mayor business. I don't care if the mayor comes here and karate chops me with his tiny arms. Supplies are limited. I got merchants disappearing in the miasma. First family's giving me shittier gear, but if you happen to find me a torque jammer, maybe I'll forgive you for killing my car and give you a power core. 
Listen, we don't have... Uh, I got your torque jammer, Bertha. <laughs> oh, yeah? It's right out back. And, uh, Bertha, while I'm out there, I'll be holding on to the memory of your beautiful face. Okay. Get me that gem, and the core is yours. Better hurry. It's my last one. Okay, you find a torque jammer. Right then. What's what this the hell are you telling her? Grabbing a torque jammer's easy, little brother. Just gotta know where to grab. Border's been picked clean. Screw the border. We can go to Gator Zone. Your call. I'm going to Gator Zone. Tiger Tough. Come on. Press R to locate your currently tracked objective. Oh, nice. Daddy's shop. Herbal enhancements. Don't call me crazy. I'm not crazy. It How about we stay out of jail this time? Sound good? All right. Pat so deal's gone. This way. What do you mean, Pat deal's gone? I can't get in. Oh. Mm. Saw a blue shiny over here. They close shaft D. We can breathe again. Mine is okay. safe. Okay. With mine storage card. Okay. That'll be good to good to use, I guess. Yeah. Totally. The heart of sedentary, the gold mine. Wow. Oh, I thought I had to go that way. Well, let's go this way then. Remember to follow safety regulations and mine protocol. Turn already. Let's see if there's a save system. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. All right, Gator Zone. Let's make this quick. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about Gator Zone. Well, I got a good one. You want to fix your glove, right? Let's get Bertha what she wants. Sure, searching the wasteland for a tool the size of my hand. No sweat. Ah, I got your back, you got mine. Everything's easy peasy. Yeah, oh, I love this level design, it's so cool. So far it feels similar to Mutant Year Zero in terms of just mechanics of it, but the world is so different. And the characters, obviously, too. But yeah, really cool humor in Mutant Near Zero. And then the humor's good here, too, but it's just different. Very well done. So far. The dude there. Get this. Local fauna mutating twice as fast as last Right, let's check this lady out. Baxter, you shouldn't be out here. My asthma's spreading. I need to find out why. Find out in town. It's bad news out here. You're not my dad, Elvis. You're my friend. We're still friends, right? This place is evil, Baxter. And you're too... Full of light? I'm not full of light. Seriously, I don't want some creature dragging you back to its hole to, like, turn you into soup or some shit. Aw, sounds like you're sweet on me. Is he sweet on me, Diggs? Yeah. No. Dude. What? It's cool, I get it. Who has time for friends when you're looking for family? Oh, bite me. You're my best friend, Baxter. I've just been busy. But we'll hang soon, I promise. Screw bad news. I need some good news. You got me? Uh, well, nobody killed me today. Wow. Real blast of sunshine, Elvis. You know the difference between me and you. I got a metal glove and you got a metal arm. <laughs> Cute. Difference is, I know who I am. 
But you're looking for someone to tell you who you are. Okay. Tell me who I am. I can't. You are who you want to be. You choose. <laughs> wow, that's some deep shit, Baxter. I'm gonna ponder that. My asthma's been acting weird. No shit. I don't want to brag, but I am the greatest scientist in town. Only scientist in town. You don't get it. It's making monsters. We saw him murder the Vodder family. What? Shit. I should have saw this coming. The last few weeks, there's been this hyper spike in the miasma's flux signals. Like it's getting... Angry? Exactly. Someone, something, is pissing it off. Good seeing you, Elvis. Don't get lost out there. Yeah. Mm. Try to go this way. Ah, shit. More frog monsters. Keep cool, little brother. Remember hunting coyotes with mama? If we sneak up on the bastards, we can ambush them. That gives us the first move. What if they see us? Where's Guru? <laughs> Okay, you can split up your group when near enemies. Split up members can be hidden in any cover position. While hidden, a shadow passive skill is applied, hiding your hero from the enemy. Spread out and find great positions before you engage in combat. Okay, so... We know there's a guy... Oh, I see. That's the combat zone. Okay, let's let's get here first. Originals filled these shelves with all kinds of things. Two bodies frozen in my asthma. They look super old, calcified. You think they were originals? Yeah, one last hug before the collapse took their souls. Brings a tear to your eye. Mm. Okay, a happy place. Seven years ago, me and Goth Boy had our first date at Gator Zone. Weird place for a date, I know, but perfect for a pair of freaks like us. We come back every year on the anniversary of our first date. That's our happy place. But it feels like this time might be our last time. With Momo gone, our friends gone, the storm spreading, the park's empty. Just us now, and the only place we have left now, Goth Boy's coughing. Murder she wrote. Right. Okay, so we've got two guys there, we've got one guy there. So we can sneak. Space bar to split up, so we've got a skull crusher there. A scout and a scout. Okay, so if we split up. A little look -see. So if I go here. Hide there. Change character. And then come over here. So I can get a bead on this guy. Hide there. Alright, ambush. What do you think will happen if I shoot those fuel cans? Blammo, blammo, bye bye, froggy. Show me the fuel cans. Ah. Uh... Alright, now. I don't really want to move, I just want to shoot. Oh, that'll hit him. That'll kill him, actually. Do it. Oh, wow. All right. Now, let's shoot. Let's get you two as well. Oh, you can dash and smash him. Really? Oh, really? Dash uses two AP. Should I do it? It feels like I'm going to hit him. Oh, 
God damn, are you serious? God damn it, I thought... Oh. oh man, what am I doing? What does three mean? Oh, reload. Oh, Overwatch, that's so good. Oh, what? What? I had that. Damn it. So that was... Ah, oh, so shooting takes two AP. Alright, don't you dare shoot me. Oh, bastard. Alright, now. Can we get to here? And can I shoot him? Ah, oh, yeah, dash. And I should be able to do one more? No, damn it. Oh, he bastard through the wall. Fifty percent. Let's go here. Yes. Deader than dead. Nothing good happens in Gator Zone. I can smell that torque jammer from here. Some other loot too. Look around. Mm -hmm. Makes me think with that fuel can, then there's gonna be more, more baddies on their oh on their way. Now in Mutant Year Zero, I used to be able to climb up shit. Ah, sweet. Oh, what is this? Oh yeah. Don't see this every day. That is cool. So it's a bouncer. An experimental weapon from the mysterious Crone Labs. This tactical disc system has been patched to allow anybody to hold it without self-detonation. The launchable disc produces an audible humming when held close to the ear. Nice. Okay, let's drop down. Oh, yep. Yeah. Man, I can't believe I've stuffed up two combat moves and cost myself heaps of hit points. Ah. Oh. So can he bash it? Oh, he can. Wow, that's so good. Okay. Oh, this way. Oh, yeah. Can I jump in a window? No. Taking point. Nice. Come here. Ah, oh, that's so good. You can regroup as well. Ah. Oh. All the good bits about Mutant Year Zero are here. It's so cool. Uh oh. That old timer needs help. We'll sneak in and ambush these bastards. What the hell are you do What do you want from me? Okay. So there's... Oh god, there's four of them. I thought there was only two. 
Well, I reckon. Oh god, there's more. Oh, they're roaming bastards. So if I go here, there, and then this guy, maybe go this side. Oh, geez. Uh oh, someone see me. That's if we move. Okay, so he's gonna. Okay, this is a bit scary. Let's do it. Okay. Now, I reckon. If I was to shoot. 82, 63, 54, 82. Oh, yes! Now, number two, 89, let's get this one. Take a spot of this. Yeah, baby. Your days are done. Look at you, killer. Oh, let's pass forward and see what they do. Oh, geez, they're going to flank us both. So now we've got to get out of here. Now, the good thing is they haven't put us in Overwatch, so... Oh, shit. Oh, man. I probably need to go here. I can still hit him. What you gonna do, coward? Nothing. Right. Ooh. Let's go there. Good. Alright, now this guy needs to run to cover, but there isn't any, unless I go here. And kill that guy. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, no. Fuel, fuel, fuel. And shoot. Alright. Enemy turn. What are you going to do? Shoot. Thankfully missed. Oh, he smashed me in the head. Okay. Oh, this is good. This is not good. <laughs> that was gold. Ah, oh. so if I can shoot there, so from here, uh, sixty-four percent. If I move there and shoot, hundred percent. Oh, you're kidding. Are you serious? Thank God he missed. Alright, let's get old mate over here. Oh, sorry. Go here. And then. Yeah, baby. Later, get oh, frogs a toast. Let's check on the old man. Alright, uh, but first, I want to go to the backpack. I want to go to consumables. I want to use on both of us. Can I just sp spray it on the floor? I kind of don't want to use on one. I want to use on all of us because in the AOE. Oh, that's annoying. Eh, it's important. Alright. Ah, oh, that's cool as shit back then. This game. He has saved my life. Hey, you're Bamati's boy, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. You better get back to sedentary. Like that, safer? Your ma used to protect our town. You know that? Without her magic. Don't know how we're gonna keep this evil from killing us. 
As sure as night turns today, old man, we're gonna find her. Yeah? Then you're gonna need my backpack. I got a frag grenade and medipod inside. Hmm. Guess you're saving our lives. <laughs> Much obliged, old timer. Alright, you now have access to a backpack and combat. Wow. <clears throat> the backpack contains all the consumable items you've found. Oh, awesome. So I couldn't have used it anyway. You can also access and use healing items from the backpack screen when not in combat. Okay. Uh, should we talk to him anyway again? No. Don't you worry about me. Just get my breath back. Look for loot. Archive net data. A big level. What's this green stuff? Huh, dinosaurs. The originals fought these monsters in a great war. Wow. History repeats, I guess. So cool. Frag grenade, throw to generate explosive damage. Awesome. Oh damn, did you see that alligator there? There's no end to these bastards. We gotta take them down. Hold on now, I see a torque jammer. We can't fix your glove without it. Ah, time to shine, little brother. Okay. Now, how many we got? No. How do you let me go into we'll stay here? Let's join back up. F to ambush. Alright, so we got three. Oh shit! Oh no! So they've got the initiative now, I think. No. Oh yeah, I didn't have a chance to bloody. Ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, hang on. Now, can I shoot? No, I can't yet. So we've got to move. Oh, that's cool. That is very cool. So I can probably take him out with that. Let's go here. And then shoot. You're kidding! Oh, there we go. That'll kill him. Got this. TKO. Oh, not bad. All right, and then. So if I go here, can I then shoot? No. Uh, I go here. Can I shoot? No. Maybe it's better if I let them come to us. It's probably better. So. Yeah, maybe I'll just come there. Then two, I can't do it. So how do I end turn? Uh, skip turn. Oh, I haven't got Overwatch on this guy. Damn. Digs digging in. Oh Jesus! Oh no! If those oh. Dogs bunch up, pop with a grenade. Oh, that's good point. Items in the backpack can be accessed by all heroes. Using any item in the backpack costs one action point. Righto. So, we've got a bit of an issue where he's there and he's there. So, no. I think I want that guy. He's in cover. Let's 
try and move to here. And then that should give us 100%. Yep. What? Okay. Well, I've got no choice but to go here. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, now it's time for a grenade. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I don't want to blow up my cover. Haha. <laughs> oh, maybe I do Overwatch. Hmm. Oh, what? Oh. Okay, now. Oh. Okay, can I go... Okay. What's five again? Ah, oh, I can move and shoot closer. Ah, oh, that's great. Ah, oh, good, his armor's off now. Okay. All right, hold through. Okay. Oh, 6%, no way. Okay, so you got one one turn cooldown on that sprint and shoot, which is fine. Um, guess I'll go here. I'll get him, and then we'll go to Elvis. Uh, so if I go here, that's an eighty nine percent chance to hit. But then I'm way out in the open. So, hmm. well, if I if I hide, then it forces him to move, doesn't it? Oh, no, four percent. If I go here, that's no, still eleven percent. So that's eighty-five percent with a possible crit chance. Let's do it. Let's live dangerously. Oh god, too dangerous. Oh, hang on. No, this is my t second AP, isn't it? Oh, have I got another frag grenade? I don't want to waste it though. That is a... Oh... No, let's not waste that either. Ah, damn. Um, I don't want to make myself a target, not Elvis, because Elvis would die in one hit, I reckon. Uh, what can we do? Stuff it. Put myself in danger. Let's see what he does. Don't you dare go, Elvis. Oh, is he calling more in? No way. Oh, he just called two more in. Son of a bitch. Right. So, yeah, you really gotta, you gotta take him out quick. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I'm gonna have to waste another bloody uh, grenade, aren't I? Not waste, but, you know. Oh, purple. Right. I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to grenade. Oh, no. Oh, 
Damn it. Oh, that's... I'm going to have to save it then. Oh, I need to reload. No. Dizzy. Ah. God damn it. If heroes injured in combat, they are no longer act, able to act for the remainder of the encounter unless they are revived. You can throw a medipod onto an injured hero to revive them, otherwise the injured hero will get up after the combat encounter. Ah oh, man, that sucks. I did so badly then. So many things I could have done better. this thing and go home okay okay oh that sucks uh let's see uh 42 health not too bad okay let's just i was gonna use the um the medipod but i'll probably save it unless there's a chance of an encounter coming up Now what is this thing? Today's my lucky day. Increases whip crit damage by 20. Nice. So how can we give it to this guy? Modify weapon mod. That one. Hell yeah. Diggs, you were right. A torque jammer. Rusty, but it'll do. Let's get back to Bertha. Huh, you must be this tall to ride. Looks like you're sitting this I was literally about to ask if there's a fast travel. That's so good. All right, so map. Uh, travel. Let's get this torque jammer to Bertha. You did good, little bro. Like I always say, he who dares, wet, wet, wet. Thanks, Diggs. You're skipping again. I the long way, didn't I? Elvis, I think you'd make a fine sheriff deputy. Here's that torque jammer, Bertha. Just like we promised. Hey, hey! Took you a while. Thought somebody killed you, boys. And me and Elvis, we don't kill easily. Deal's a deal. Here's a power core. Don't blow yourself up now. Rock and roll. Say, where'd you get that glove? My mama gave it to me. Wanna sell it? Not in a hundred lifetimes. Thanks, Bertha. Thank you right back. Store's open to you boys anytime. Okay, we've got the Octarine Agilitizer. Oh yeah. And that should heal us up too, right? Power cores. Well, that's that thing. It's one power we're moving, two and sprinting. Nice. Yep, that's cool. Skill deck. So we got one point each. So let's just check out the tree here. Raises critical chance for ambush shots. That's awesome. And that for flanking as well. And then shoot at all enemies within a 40 degree angle. That's pretty not bad. This one. Uh, that's the armor point. And then deals 30 acid damage over three turns. Oh, that's nice. If we go the health route. 
Then we got adds 20 KW capacity. What's KW? Kilowatts? No. And then if we go this path, I assume you start here. Glove shock. Slightly shock an enemy for 90 damage. Oh, that's nice. That's a good one. I remember um, in Mutant Year Zero having like stunning uh, robot enemies with with like EMP grenades and stuff. That's good. Um, I think I want some health. Although that's cool too. Yeah, I think I want health. And then we go to Digger. Health and yeah, health. All right, brilliant. Let's see, power core. Power cores grant different gameplay bonuses for you to mix and match. You can edit your power cores from the party screen. All right, quest started. Nasty weather. We fixed the glove. Plus, we can buy and sell stuff again. Let's tell the mayor. All right. Let's actually let's have a quick look at the store to show you what's in there. You got the plastic. I got the goods. What you need? Oh, wow. So we've got... How much plastic have we got? We've got 530. Last bottle. A knocker. Can knock enemies backwards. Combine them with a high platform or explosive barrels. Oh, nice. Anyone Weapons. Leaving town needs a weapon to defend themselves. Ah, it's gold. It's Sniper. It's hella dangerous out there. It's cool. Shotgun. Nice. Another satisfied customer. Right. Like a dream. Let's get back to the mayor. Collection day's coming. Hate these first family bastards. Well, to survive, the town had to make a deal with the devil. Well, these devils are squeezing the town dry. Wish I could do something about it. Okay, and then we'll go to the mayor. Interesting. Got that glove working, boy? It's working, Mayor. Not a second too soon. Gator Zone's crawling with monsters. Why the hell were you in Gator Zone? This brainless pot dragon? Uh, brains is all you got, Jarhead. <clears throat> Elvis, I hit the jackpot. Found an encrypted file in your mama's data drive. It's all about increasing your glove's power. Hell yeah. What's it say? Well, that's the problem. I can't understand a goddamn lick of it. Read this. To heal the miasma and pay our debts, absorb the anger of a wild vortex. In return, the miasma gives an editor a reward. Power for your glove and balance restored. Some kind of riddle. You know what she means? Heal the miasma. Editor? I don't get it. Me neither. What's a vortex? Damn it. Trying to figure out miasma is like punching a tornado. <laughs> tornado? Hold on. Near the wall, we saw some angry miasma. Yeah, swirling around. Like a vortex. The glove was pulling me to it like it wanted to grab it. Maybe it did. You should go investigate. Could be the key to everything. But the frogs are out there too. Could be dangerous. Want to see danger? You looking at him, old man? Elvis, clock's ticking. Let's go. Yeah, cool. We got this, Mayor. Godspeed. I'll keep digging through these files for more clues. All right. Yeah, we talk to him. Frog monsters are surrounding the town. You need to find that vortex now. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Save that. Yes. And main menu. All right. Well, my name is Chris from Roundtable Co. That was my first. Almost hour and a half of Miasma Chronicles. I've been I've been calling it Miasma Chronicles, but everyone in the game is calling it Miasma Chronicles, so I'll do that too. Thank you very much, Stride PR, for the review key. And wow, so far I am 
very much hooked on the game. It's very much like uh, Mutant Year Zero, mechanically. So the very cool things like uh, the tactical combat, like the stealthing around, trying to find the best angle of attack before you fight, like the uh, before you do an ambush. So be careful of the roaming, roaming dudes that will spot you. Um, and then you know splitting the team up or telling your person to wait, and then while you move around in a better spot, it's just so cool. And uh, this world is amazing so far, very intriguing, and I'm looking forward to finding out what happens next. Uh, you'll see our review up on roundtablecoop.com once the game releases. Thank you for watching this first video, and we'll see you next time.